Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am financial planner Sugar Mama TV and today's video is proudly brought to you by Adobe and co-hosting today's video is Peppy, Peppy Truffle. Now, as you guys know, my background is I'm a financial planner. I studied a Bachelor of Commerce majoring in economics and marketing. I'm not someone who is maybe naturally creative and I'm most definitely not trained in any area when it comes to professional content creation whatsoever. However, somehow I have ended up in the content creation world, the digital content creation world. It is something that I have been on an exponential learning curve because it's not my natural background, my experience or even my education. However, three things that I have learned very quickly from working in the digital content creation world is number one, it's so incredibly important to stand out. Number two, the content creation world is dynamic. You need to be able to create content quickly and get it published quickly. And number three, you always need to be able to offer relevance and value to your viewer. That's how you connect, that's how you build a community, that's how you build success. Now, in today's age, we are absolutely drowning in content. You literally have only a couple of seconds to catch someone's eye, otherwise they're gone. It's literally make or break. So today as a small business owner and someone who does not have a background in professional content creation, I want to talk to you today about Adobe's incredible feature through Photoshop called Generative Fill. And it most definitely makes Peppy and I look like professional content creators. Watch this. Now, first of all, what is Adobe Generative Fill? Well, what it does, it allows you to take a simple image and easily and effortlessly change it. You can edit it, remove things, extend things, change the aspect, and all within a matter of seconds. So you can change small details within the image or change the entire comp, again, within seconds. Now I love Adobe. I have the full Adobe suite and use it every single day. But what I love the most about Adobe's Photoshop, particularly the generative fill, is that it is so fast to use. So it means I get content published quickly. It's easy to understand. It's incredibly intuitive. I don't have to waste precious time going and watching thousands of tutorials online, learning and understanding how to do really basic things. Literally, I have learned on the go within minutes. And then thirdly, the generative fill actually prompts creativity. Because it uses AI, you can literally type anything in the prompt box and it will help create different ideas for you to be able to finish your project off. This is where you can get weird and wonderful, no matter how big your creative block might be. Because it literally takes over, goes wild and wonderful, and does all these incredible things to your image. Now, Peppy and I are actually gonna show you how easy this is, and how our content now stands out from the crowd. On my lifestyle account, Canna Campbell Official, I have this weekly series, which has been running for a while, called What Peppy Ate This Week. Now, obviously, everyone loves to put online images of their pets, their dogs, their cats. However, I wanna make sure that my image of Peppy really gets everyone interested and intrigued, engaging with my content. I really want to make sure it is clear about what Peppy 8 is all about. So watch me take this very simple image of Peppy sitting, well, lounging on our sofa. Once I've imported the image into Adobe Photoshop, I simply select the area using either the lasso tool or the rectangle, and I select the area. Now in the generative fill, I simply type in outer space, click enter, and within a couple of seconds, the background has changed. It now looks like Peppy, Peppy Truffle, is floating around in cyberspace on my sofa. Now to really tie in my content with what Peppy ate this week, I'm gonna show a couple of examples of what Peppy has eaten this week, including a peanut butter jar, a sweaty old sneaker, some moldy parmesan cheese, oh, and some swimmers. So so literally all I do is select the area where I want that particular item to come up. So we're going to start with the peanut butter jar. I simply type in peanut butter jar into the generative fill and within a couple of seconds I have three different peanut butter jars to choose from. So we can literally sit here and enter in as many items showing what Peppy ate this week using three very simple steps. Now if I show you the image before and the image we just created together, which one catches your eye? Which one leads you wondering, what's this all about? And that is why, if you want your content getting through to people, keeping them captivated, entertaining them, adding value, and making sure that that content is created quickly, you need to know about Adobe's generative 
fill through Photoshop. Now, as mentioned, I have the whole Adobe suite. It's one of my most important business creation tools and most definitely a tool that I rely on every single day within my small business.